North Korea loves to threaten all-out war. In times of high tension, the regime makes that threat multiple times a week. But could they do it? Do they have the firepower to back those fiery threats? What does the military in the Hermit Kingdom look like? Boots on the ground. They have 1.2 million active soldiers, 7.7 .7 million in the reserve army. If you're doing the math, that is 9 million soldiers. It is a massive army. The conventional weapons they would be using, though, are old. Artillery forces. North Korea has 8,600 artillery cannons. That is a lot of them. The reason why is that they are cheap. The weapons, though, do have limited range. Tanks. 4,300 of them. Now, North Korean tanks date back to the Soviet era, also old. Fighter jets, 820 of them. These fighter jets are extremely old. They're equivalent to the U.S.'s Vietnam-era fighter jets. One U.S. F-16 could take down a large number of North Korean fighters at once. Submarines. North Korea has approximately 70 of them. They are very old as well. Now here is where they are effective. They could transport special forces into South Korea, which gets us to special forces. North Korea has approximately 200,000 soldiers in the special forces. Now troops are cheap, but these troops are highly affected. They are very dangerous. They can travel in a small squad, so they're hard to detect. And they could carry in chemical weapons. Now to the West, chemical weapons are most worrisome. They are difficult to detect, difficult to track. North Korea has an unknown number of chemical weapons. One small chemical weapon released here in the heart of Seoul could do untold damage on the population. Missiles. The ones you see in North Korea's parades, that massive one they like to show, thought to be able to reach the western coast of the United States. The precision is not known, or how much warhead payload it could carry. Also unknown, how many North Korea possesses. So, now we can talk about the big concern nuclear weapons. North Korea tested nuclear weapons in 2006, 2009, and 2013. North Korea has an unknown number of nuclear weapons, and it is developing its capability in miniaturizing nuclear weapons. That technology would be devastating. It would allow the regime to put nukes on a missile. Cyber warfare. North Korea has been successful in developing cyber warriors. An estimated 6,000 cyber warfare troops are placed around the world. Remember the Sony hack? U.S. intelligence pinned that hack on North Korea's cyber warriors. So, could they do it? A conventional war would be limited. They have some capability in launching a targeted chemical war, and each day, they do get a little closer to being a global nuclear threat. Here's the catch. North Korea's broke. Security experts widely believe that without outside help from another rogue country, North Korea only has the money to wage war for a few days. But even a war of a few short days would be bloody, resulting in mass casualties on the Korean peninsula.